Hello Aries, this is Julie, and we're here for your mid-November reading, so let's get straight into it. Alright, calling in the highest of light, highest of energy to guide you on this reading. What messages do we have for Aries for mid-November? Alright, mid-November. Energies and guidance for Aries. Okay. Um, okay. One. Let's pick five. Two. Three. I'm going to pick this one too. For some reason I, I keep getting drawn to it. So, And the energy beneath it all is the sun. So that's wonderful. That's the energy coming in from um, the beginning of November. So that's, you know, health, love, um, trust, uh, luck coming in from uh, mid-November. So that's great. We have strength, the king of discs, the moon, the King of Wands reversed, and the um, Five of Wands reversed. So um, I would usually pull a clarifier here, so this is where I'm going to put the guide. Um, and I was also drawn to put it with the King of Wands, so let's, let's see how this all pans out. Um, so we have strength overarching the entire reading. So, um, you know, mid-November is really going to be about standing strong within yourself, standing um, for what you believe in, what you feel is right, and following through on that. Even though it may be difficult, even though you may want to give up, this is not the time to do so. This is a time to really dig your heels in and keep working. Um, in the love sector, we have the King of Discs um, showing up. So this could be a new partner coming in. Um, the energy is is very uh they're very secure in themselves they they're very secure in the earthly realm so they have a very set home and um uh home they have you know a good car a good job they've got it all together um so let's just see how they're they're playing out in your in your world um so we have an ace of wands in reverse so yeah this could be a new beginning with the king of discs um with this really strong um but very even keel um person however it's delayed like this this new relationship is going to be delayed uh it has the potential to be really exciting and um you know, have a really spiritual uh, connection, but it's just not coming in very quickly. There are some ba there there are some barriers that are um, showing up, and this this King of Discs will most likely have um, you know kind of an earthy feel to them. So similar to like a Capricorn, um, like a Taurus or a Virgo, um, they just they they keep they keep themselves together very well and and so that might be why you're drawn to this this person but it's just it's going to take a little bit more time to to bring them in all right so then in work we have the moon so something at at work is really hitting you emotionally and you're having difficulty controlling yourself with it Okay, so when this shows up in career, it really is like maybe somebody is getting on your nerves, maybe you're not liking the job that you're doing, and it's really, it's, it's trying for you to, to keep it all in. Like you really just want to quit or you really want to just d express yourself. So if you feel this way, if you, if you feel like you're going to, in a way, like pop, you feel like you're going to pop, yeah? Um, try to figure out a way to, to express yourself in a respectful um, clear manner that is um, speaking your truth but honoring those around you and that way you can really alleviate that pressure but still um, you know 
um, do it in a way that people can understand. So that, and you have the sun coming in, so I think like y you have the capacity for that, absolutely. And so it could also be that, you know, you're super joyful and um, excited about something and no one else is sharing that emotion with you. So just ease your way into it and um, make, make sure that you keep those around you um, in the back of your mind. Uh, in finances, we have the King of Wands reversed and then um, the Hermit. So having the King of Wands reversed, um, you know, this is this can be financial loss due to just being overzealous, okay? And it, it could be you doing that since you are um, a fire energy. So, um, you know, having the, the guide here is saying, you know, slow your roll take a moment, breathe, look at what you're doing. Do not spend money um, just on a whim. Look, you know, look at your finances, look at where you are first, and then go about it in a slower, more contemplative way, you know. Um, so the guide is, you know, your inner guide. Listen to your inner guide um, and make sure that um, e every penny that you spend kind of resonates with where you are in your life. And then in health, we have the Five of Wands in reverse. So um, some of you could be battling um, a sickness. You guys could be having a cold, um, you know, like a head cold, or you, you could actually maybe have broken a bone, pulled a muscle, sprain, um, something that is like uh, kind of bringing you in, like you can't go work out as much as you would like to. And that's very frustrating to you, but just make sure... Um, not to fight it, you know, not to fight the injury, um, and not to fight your exhaustion, not to fight if you are feeling, if you do have a cold, is to nurture it and bring it, bring yourself back to health before pushing forward. Okay, so let's call in our angels and see what added guidance we have for the rest of November. All right, added guidance for November. Angels, highest of light, highest of energy. What added guidance do you have for Aries? This one. So it is third eye chakra. So the third eye chakra says, it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. Okay, so you know what, you do have some cards here that really speak of um, tapping into your to your soul energy, and that's the sun, the um, the guide, and the moon. These all these energies are very intuitive and um, listen to it, and that's why they work the way they do. So if you listen to your heart and you listen to your um, spirit, it'll guide you and work. Um, and you will have the strength to say what it is that you need to say, okay? And then once again, you're going to need the strength financially to hold back and just um, recognize the light within and that you don't need to spend money to have that. Um, also, the sun is, you know, shining over all of this, saying you're bringing in this really positive energy. Um, and, it's, and so this is a safe space for you to be in to dis express your love, even... Um, you know, even if it might be um, delayed, you might feel delayed in finding that love, it's right there and it's going to show itself in many different ways. All right, Aries, thank you so much for um, watching this reading. If you like it, then thumbs up it. And um, if you'd like to, to get a reading, then you can find me on my website or on my, or um, email me. All right, thank you so much. Love, joy, and blessings.